All right, we're in with some standard reservoir. We lost the die roll, so we are going to... What are we going to do with this hand? Um, this hand's a little too short and risky, so I'm just going to mulligan it for more lands. This one, not the best hand in the world, but it has a Saram, so if we can hit... Hmm, there's a statuary. I love statuary. All right, we're going to stick that on top. We're not going to be doing much for quite some time, but hopefully our opponent leaves us alone for that brief moment. We're going to go port town and tapped, and we're going to pass the turn. Next turn, we can slam down a Saram. Hopefully, we draw into a... Ooh, black, white, zombies. Okay. Hopefully, we draw into a um, equipment, because that's just essentially a free redraw for Saram. Which would be lovely. Okay, so if he's going to be playing zombies, well, we're going to slam down Sram, see if it gets removed, fatal pushed, grasp of darkness, anything like that. It's just going to slow him down a little bit and make sure he's not playing so many zombies, at the very least. But yeah, I expect grasp right here. Oh, it's Diagraph Colossus. Okay. And drains us. Does he want to get in with his servant? I doubt it. Yeah, passes the turn. Okay. What do we draw? Prairie Stream. Well, I'm going to Ether Hub because I want to get down the Statuary because it's just going to make everything cheaper. So, let's do that. It does mean that we can't get Reservoir down next turn, though, but I'm hoping we draw something nicer. I'm going to hold Bats Ram just to block any of these zombies if they should turn up. That being said, we could just see um, his Zombie Lord. Lord of the Curse, that's the one. Declaration in Stone. Cool. Works for me. That gives us something to do next turn at the very least. And also, it's an extra artifact for us to tap down, so we can actually Baral's expertise his board away. And he drains us. Expertise his board away and Reservoir off of it. So, it gets him for four. No block. Oh, there's a planes. Okay. So play the planes. Which I'm going to. And then Brawl's expertise. Holding up one blue mana. We could cast the Paradoxical Outcome to keep any of our stuff safe off of that. Should be nice. Alright, we're going to bounce the token, the Colossus, and I guess the Servant as well. Tap, tap, tap. tap a -doo, and tap. Brawl's Expertise, bounce all of those, and then we'll cast the Reservoir off of that. Okay, and we'll pass the turn. We actually can't outcome off of that, I don't know why I said that, because we have to tap down our artifacts. But, it shouldn't be a problem. I doubt he's going to have a cast out or anything like that. We are getting quite low on life though, so we should... Be a little bit worried about that. We're going to have to have something good coming out soon. I suppose even a bone saw with a paradoxical outcome could be fine. Because then we could trigger reservoir a fair few times. We just need to build up our board state full of artifacts really. So we can bounce them all. Supreme will. Hmm. Well... Prairie Stream. Let's go Supreme Will. Tap. 
tap and blue. Game one life. Up to 14. Look at the top four cards of our library and pick one. Maybe, ooh, yep, maybe a glimmer is what I was thinking. That'll do. And then we'll glimmer of genius, tap, 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 and tap. Gain two life. Give me bone saws and things like that. There's an ornithopter. And another reservoir. So we've got an ornithopter. So we went ornithopter. Don't know if this is fast enough for us. It is double the triggers though. So next turn we draw ornithopter. We play reservoir. Play ornithopter for um, four life. We gain five total. And then we outcome. Yeah, I think we can take it. Do we play it now? Or do we just get more triggers next turn? We play it now, we gain three, we play it next turn. We're gaining, what, five was it? Into outcome, bouncing a fair few things. Yeah, I think we'll just pass. We'll play it next turn. The ideal draw next turn is going to be another zero drop. He's going to tap his zombies, draw a card. Courtyard for our opponent. And another Colossus. Okay, which gets him another zombie. Which drains us. Down to 15. Drains us again to 14. It's gonna be close. As long as we can gain too much life for our opponent to keep up with, we should be fine though. I dare say another Baral's Expertise would be actually quite good. Because we could Baral's Expertise into a paradoxical outcome or something like that. Just going to swing with two, so it's looking like he wants to crit break a draw. He's not going for the race as such. He could either go for the draw or he could go for the discard with the crit breaker. Poor town. Ah. Alright, well. Let's go. Tap, 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 and tap. Game one life from the first reservoir. Now we've got two reservoirs in play. So now for every spell I cast each turn we gain two life from both of them. So I gain four from this. Let's yield to that. And then let's paradoxical outcome. Bounce. Bounce. I want to draw as many cards as possible and replay them essentially. We're gaining six currently. If I get any more artifacts, we gain eight and then ten. If I leave the reservoirs alone. Oh, we'll take a risk. We'll just go for this. Tap, tap. Tap the clue, pay the blue. Gain six. Come on, something good. <clears throat> Inventor's Fair gains us a bit of life. Play the Ornithopter again. Gain eight. Up to 29. And we'll have to pass the turn here. We gain one life off the Inventor's Fair. And then next turn we Statuary. Use our artifacts to pay for Glimmer. Hopefully get some more Ornithopters and things like that. And we might just be able to get there. Our opponent is 
absolutely going as wide as possible though, so this board state's getting out of hand quick. Third Colossus means he gets three zombies every single time he casts a zombie, which drains it for three off the Servant. Servant is doing some work. We've got sideboard cards for this. Fumigate right now would be lovely, but it's not in our main board. Maybe it should be. Coming in. Should probably swing in with everything. Leaving back three zombies again to draw. Hmm. I'm not going to block. That Ornithopter is more important to me getting bounced. We go to 18. He's just got us past that starting life total. And his life total is irrelevant to us. As long as it stays below 50, we're completely fine. Because that's what we need for the Reservoir to kill. The fourth Colossus. Wow. Okay. So we could lose next turn, we could win next turn. Both of those are a possibility. We gain one life from the Inventor's Fair. Up to 15. War of Invention is Turbo Gash, unfortunately. Alright, tap. Tap, tap. Gain two life. Glimmer, tap, 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 and pay a blue, gain four life, something good, come on, Paradox Clout comes good, bottom the planes, get a Cathar Shield, nice, go from 21 up to 27, Paradox of Clout come, Bounce, bounce, and bounce the statuary again. Yeah, I think we should bounce the statuary again. Tap, tap, tap. Pay the blue. Go up to 35. Draw loads of cards. Play Bone Saw. Up to 45. And our opponent is probably going to concede in a second. Cathar Shield. Up to 57. Just for the sake of safety, we're going to go Ornithopter. And that's going to do it. Oh my god, we managed to get there. Oh dear, right. And then point fifty at our opponent. And that's going to be game. Alright, let's go to sideboarding. So against black, white zombies. So we're definitely bringing in the Fumigates. Uh, Gideon's defeat seems useless. Forsake the Worldly. Uh, could be used against uh, Liliana's Mastery, but we didn't see it there. Hmm. It could maybe be an option. What are we going down? Did we even see much um, creature removal? We saw Cloud Blazers coming out. We saw Declaration in Stone, and I think that might have been about it. I think that's all we could really bring in. I mean, bringing in a card for something we're not entirely certain if it's in there is a little bit risky, but this one is cyclable, so I mean, the risk is lessened. Somewhat. What would we take out if we took out the counter spells? Because I don't think anything in here is a dead card in any sense. I think it's all good. Brawl's expertise bounces zombie tokens, fumigate wipes his board and gains us a ton of life. Yeah, I think we'll just we'll just go like this. We'll try this out. If he has Liliana's mastery in this game, then we bring in Forsake the Worldly. This hand has a decent setup for an outcome. 
doesn't do much otherwise and it does have both of our colours. I'm going to keep it. It's a little risky. We're going to have to get lucky on our draws. Because we kind of have to hit land drops as well as hitting... Well, maybe if we hit an inspiring statuary and a third land, then we're good. Opponent goes with a shambling vent and passes. Well, there's a reservoir. There's one of our pieces. Okay, well, we're going to go island and we're going to pass. There's no sense whatsoever in playing out Cathar Shield or Bone Souls right now. There is no value whatsoever. So it's best to keep them in hand as an unknown card. Wayward Servant. Okay. Plus, if we slam Reservoir, then we've got three triggers straight after the Reservoir. So we gain two life, three life, and then four life. More lands. Alright, we did ask for this. And we are receiving. So, Statuary would be nice. It'd be slow, but it'd be nice. We gonna see a Colossus come down here, or... Lord of the Accursed. Surprised we didn't see the Lord, actually, during the last match. There he is. Okay. Drains us. And can get in for three. More lands. Alright, well, land and pass. When it plays a swamp and mummy paramount. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield, it gets plus one plus one until the end of the turn. I did not know this card existed. Fair enough. That is um, a dangerous, dangerous looking card with the Colossus on the field. Take five. Okay, so next turn we slam down a reservoir and we play down all of our zero cost cards. And then we can glimmer looking for paradoxical outcome pretty much. So reservoir comes down. He could have a cast out or something like that from his sideboard. Very much possible. We're going to gain back all of the life we've just lost, though. We do also have Baral's Expertise to bounce all three of our Bone Saws, and then play a Glimmer of Genius as well off of that. So if we hit a land next turn, then we're golden. Alright, pass. What's fun about his Declaration in Stones on our Ornithopters as well is it replaces an artifact with an artifact. And although we can't bounce it with the um, Paradoxical Outcome, we can actually tap it as part of the Inspiring Statuary for Improvise. So we maintain some value from it, nonetheless, at the cost of a card from our opponent. He's down to one card, though. Really want to see a land here. Come on. Let's see a land. Yes! All right. Ether Herb coming down. Baral's Expertise, uh, let's, hmm, how do we want to go about this? Because I do want to bounce our Bone Source to gain loads of life, but I also want to bounce some of these creatures as well. Bounce his Mummy, and then pay for the Expertise, gain one life. Cast Glimmer of Genius off of the Baral's Expertise. Gain two life. Bottom both the lands. That's not good to see. But a Sram. Oh, Sram. I do enjoy you so much in this deck. When you uh, do your thing. Hmm. <laughs> So next turn we Sram and we Cathar Shield Bone Saw draw two cards. Which leaves up enough to crack the clue. We don't die, as far as I'm aware, to anything he can play next turn. 
We know he's got a Mummy Paramount and one other card, so I think we can afford to wait in order to get extra surround value. There's his Mummy. Can get him for five. She is indeed going to do. Which is fine. There is a line of cards that can win us the game. That's not one of them. Alright, well, Sram. Play you down. Game one life. Up to nine. Two life off the bone saw and draw a card from Sram. We'll yield to that. Paradoxical outcome. Alright. We're setting up for a lovely victory. Draw another card from the Cathar Shield. Another land. Ugh. Prairie Stream. Do we Glimmer or do we Paradoxical Outcome? If we used Glimmer to hit zero cost cards, so we draw cards this turn, we gain a fair bit of life off the Reservoir and the Paradoxical Outcome gains more value on a future turn. I don't think there's any way that he can disrupt this outcome from being good, short of getting rid of our Reservoir. So I think I am going to Glimmer. Gain some more life. 14 up to 18. We hit not the cards we were looking for. So I'm going to bottom both. And a Baral's Expertise. Well, that's a bounce spell. I was not expecting it. can slow our opponent down, though. Buy us an extra turn. Declaration in Stone on Sram. Okay. So we don't get a redraw off the Cathar Shields and things like that anymore. But the longer this game goes on, the more artifacts we have on the board, the easier it's going to be to win. And we can just regain most of the life that we're losing here. Okay. Port Town, reveal the planes. Then let's... Is it going to be Baral's Expertise, Bounce Everything, Cast Paradoxical Outcome to Bounce the Shields? Leaves us with two mana to crack a clue. Or even play a Sram if we end up drawing that off of the outcome. Yeah, I think so. Alright. Let's... Do that, shall we? Game on life. Bounce all of his creatures, which buys us a future turn. Then bounce, bounce. Gain two life. Bounce all of the artifacts. Draw two extra cards. We get a statuary. And so many lands that we really don't want to see. And crack a clue. Glimmer. Glimmer's really good. Glimmer is really good. Okay. We're going to pass. Discard. Port Town. So it's going to be... Well, Wayward Servant. And then, I guess, the Mummy. Unless you've got another land. Yeah, Mummy Paramount. Drains us. Okay, let's do some fun things here. Port Town, reveal the planes. Go Statuary, tap down our basics. Gain one life. Now all of our artifacts tap for mana. Glimmer of Genius, tap, tap, tap. Pay one blue. Gain two life. Top Sram. Bottom the land. 
Oh, we did hit two SRAMs. That sucks. Alright, pay one colorless, one white to play SRAM. Go up to 18. Play Bone Saw, draw a card, gain some life. Another Reservoir. Play a Cathar Shield, draw a card, gain some life. Another Cathar Shield, nice. Play a Cathar Shield, draw a card, gain some life. Up to 33. Another Statuary. Okay. And one mana short of equipping up our SRAM. But I suppose I can stick a bone saw on it. Not exactly casting anything else in our hand. Although we could crack the clue. Yeah, we'll crack the clue instead. Because we still trade with the Wayward Servant, which stops it coming in. Not necessarily with the mummy. And we've got a backup SRAM anyway, so... Shambling Vent for our opponent. Lord of the Accursed. Did forget about those guys. Well, I'm going to block, probably. Just because it allows us to get an extra card out of our hand that can cast Saram without being punished, really. Although, maybe we should check what this clue is going to be first. What is this going to be? Because if it's Fumigate... Paradox Cloud come. Alright, well, that's probably us saying GG to our opponent. So yeah, I'm going to absorb damage just so we get closer to that 50 life easier. Allows us to gain one life from the Saram. Supreme Will. Alright, Port Town, reveal that planes. Let's go Reservoir, one, two, three, four, yeah, we can do that. Play a Reservoir, gain one life. Now we gain double triggers for everything that we cast. So, Sram, tap, tap. Gain four life. Supreme Will, tap, tap, and pay a blue. Up to 40. Grab a Cathar Shield. Rest on the bottom. Cathar Shield. Double triggers. And a card draw from Saram. It's another paradoxical outcome. Alright, so if we didn't win off the first one, we get to recast it into another. So this should just do it. Paradoxical outcome. Bounce, 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 bounce. And leave it at that. Say OK. Tap blue. Tap our artifacts. Gain enough to go over 50. And that's game. Just in case. Let's get one trigger. All right. 0.50 at our opponent, and that's game. Woo! All right, that was pretty sweet. All right, let's go on to another game.